waits for no man and I ain't got time to shake your hand. What's up everybody, it's Delta Roll, and today's video is going to be some Destiny beta gameplay, but before I get into that, I decided to delete um, the Destiny beta gameplay that I was going to upload today because I felt like it really sucked. Like, I watched it, and I only got 16 kills, and I had a 1.33 kill death ratio, and like, towards the end, towards the beginning I did pretty good, but towards the end, I died like, I don't know, like, six times in a row without getting a single kill, so I was pretty upset with that, so I was like, yeah, I'm not going to upload this, like... In Call of Duty, I normally upload like really good gameplays or gameplays where I actually go on streaks or something, and then and end up doing like having at least like a 2.0 or a or a a 1.6 or something KD. And then in this, I was uploading like gameplays that were really sad, and I was just like, why? Right now, I just realized I was like, why did I upload gameplays where I only get like 17 kills and 1.1? Like, what the heck is up with that? So. I decided to delete it for Iron Banner though, which which those are coming up next. Like those are coming out, I think, after I upload this, not today, but the next Destiny gameplays that I'm gonna be uploading are Iron Banner because I I'm done with the regular playlist, the regular um, multiplayer playlist. But now I'm going into the competitive side of the playlist. If there's like 1.3s or 1.1s or whatever in there, don't worry, guys. It will end up with a pretty good one. And I, I just want to showcase the Iron Banner maps as well. I don't know if I have all the map if I had both of the maps in there, but I think I do. So yeah. On to the gameplay. This one was pretty good. I had 32 kills uh, with a 2.29 kill death ratio, so I did pretty well, I think. And I played pretty well, I think. Um, you guys, you guys will enjoy this video way more than you would have enjoyed the previous video that I was about to upload, but I decided to delete. So you guys can thank me now for that in the comments below. Of course, just say thank you for not uploading a poop gameplay. Which was pretty poop because I watched it and I'm calling it poop and it was my own gameplay. So, just to let you guys know, I could be honest with you guys. I'm mostly honest with you guys. Like I lie here and there. Just kidding. I don't. I don't really lie to you guys. Um, but yeah. So yeah, the gameplay is great. You guys. Sh you guys should really be pleased by what you guys are watching while I'm talking. But yeah. So what I want to talk about the commentary that the topic of the commentary that I am going to be discussing today is about advanced warfare. Yeah, big whoop, big deal right here, right, right. So Advanced Warfare, it has become public knowledge that it has a traditional playlist. So it has the exosuit playlist, and it has a traditional playlist, which is without exosuits. So you can't double jump, hover jump, um, I'm guessing you can't turn invisible, use a riot shield thing, the trophy system things or whatever. You can't do those, get that speed boost, um... So you can't do anything that the exosuits allow you to do or give you the ability to do. You, you're you playing like a normal COD. Like you're playing like Black Ops 2 and Ghost, MW3, COD 4, MW2, Black Ops, all those. You can, you can name all the previous CODs. That's like what you're playing because there's no exosuits in this mode. So I don't know if it's like core and hardcore or if it's like core, hardcore, traditional. Because obviously you have core and hardcore in um, current COD. And all the previous ones where it's, well not all the previous ones, but okay. most of the previous ones where it's, you have core where you die in a normal amount of bullets and hardcore where you die in like real life amount of bullets, like boom, you're dead. One shot, everything's one shot or two shots. So yeah, I don't know if they're going to have hardcore in there or if the hardcore mode is going to be basically no exosuits. So I'm looking out for that. I want, I'm going to definitely like try that out. If I, if I, um... I'm not going to try and only play that. I also want to play the exosuits. I'm really excited to try out the exosuits and see how um, balanced everything is and try to play it like that. I want to play the actual game game, not the, not the, um, what is it, the vanilla version of Call of Duty <laughs> without the mods, which we'd call exosuits in this case. But yeah, I really want to, I really want to try out the actual game, the actual way it was designed and with the exosuits and the verticality and stuff. But I will try the the traditional. Maybe I'll get some gameplays on that once I get the game. Remember, I did pre-order it. So yeah, I have some like mixed thoughts about this. Mixed emotions. Like, I kind of wanna. I, I'm kind of leaning towards the negative. Like, I pick two things that are good and two things that are bad. So the po two things that are positive, two things that are negative. And I like the way I see it. I feel like the negatives will affect this game way more than the positives of this traditional um, mode. So the positives, I'll start off with positives. It allows players to play how they want, like what they want to do. Like if, if you're like a um and like if you're like a COD purist at heart 
and you want you you want no like exosuits like obviously cod pierce will be like well we didn't have kill streaks we didn't have blah 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 but you don't want exosuits and you want to just play call of duty the way it was built since like three cods ago or four cods ago then go ahead play traditional if you want to play brand new cod with some new tricks some new things to do some new fun like i don't know some new so just some new fun abilities and play cod as it would be in the future you get to go ahead and play that and see that's like a cool thing about it that's really cool because if you get bored of playing traditional you could just jump in and say well i want to double jump now if you get bored of playing or tired of getting smacked by better people who are better than you <laughs> bored i don't know tired of getting smacked by people who are better than you at double jumping and dashing to the left and to the right and forwards and stuff then you go play traditional and smack some kids who you're better than at traditional called at the traditional call of duty play style so yeah it's pretty cool in that in that sense but um but yeah i don't, I don't know why i said but because i was gonna say the other positive which is traditional fill will most likely feel like the previous cods so yeah i kind of touched on that in the last thing i was talking the last thing that i was saying i kind of touched that so it will feel like the previous cods most likely it will you'll run like them you can't get a boost you'll jump like them you can't get a boost you can't like i don't know if you could slide because sliding was using the exos the exosuit made you slide faster and stuff so i don't know if you could still slide or not but it's gonna feel like the previous cods and that's pretty cool because obviously advanced warfare is gonna feel like cod it's call of duty it's gonna feel like cod but it'll feel more the traditional playlist will feel more like what you're used to and what we're used to obviously and um the what's it called the exosuits, regular whatever mode they have it called, will feel more like Advanced Warfare. So you'll you you'll probably you'll most likely feel the difference when you can't double jump in when you can. And so with that, we'll end on that note with the positives. I couldn't think of other positives because it's just like I don't know. It's it's good. There's there's more positives. I just decided to go with those. The negatives. It may mean that no one will play one mode like or the other like. Obviously. It doesn't really bother me if no one plays the the one mode that I like, or no one plays the one mode that I don't like to play often. It won't bother me. So if I play the exosuit mode and no one plays um, the traditional mode, I will be okay. I'll be okay with that because no one's playing that. I'm playing the one with more players. But if I'm playing the exosuit mode and everybody's playing traditional, because everybody wants to be like, I'm Cod Pierce. I'm not gonna play no new Halo Titanfall um, mix mix in this i'm not gonna play nothing that has halo and titanfall and says it's call of duty that's so dumb i'm gonna play traditional call of duty Pfft, the other stuff's like halo and titanfall added onto it call of duty like so if people want to be like that and say that they're gonna just play the traditional playlist then it's gonna suck for people like me who actually want to play the um the playlist with the exosuits where you could double jump and everything because i really think that's gonna be fun and i really want to i really want to see if i could enjoy that if I don't, obviously I'll play traditional, but I really want to, I really want to, and I really am hoping that I will enjoy the exosuits. So that's one negative is that people will, people will always, or not people will always, but it may just make the game like, oh, one side oriented. And then if it's not the side that you like playing that gets most of the, the attention, then you'll be out of luck. Uh, the second thing that I think is negative, it's mainly towards me, like, it's mainly my, like, my big, it's, it's a big opinion of mine, because it's something that I like to watch, and I like to be participating in it, and it's the pro or esports scene, they might adapt the traditional playlist over the exosuit playlist, which is, which is kind of sad, because it's the, how can I say this, the actual game, Advanced Warfare, is play is meant to be played with the exosuits you have like the vantage points up high and the like you have all those things where you have to jump up or you have to dash across things and that's the way that the game's supposed to be played so if the pro scene adapts to traditional style then they can't really play they're playing just like regular maps with no verticality or anything and that might be boring to watch in this game like obviously it's not boring to watch in black ops 2 or ghost well ghost is boring to watch i'm sorry that i just i, I kind of lied to you guys but it's not boring to watch in Black Ops 2 because that's the way the game's supposed to be played. But when you're playing a game the way it's not supposed to be played, it's probably most likely going to be really boring to watch. So, for a long time at least, for like 9 months because they play the game in like 9 months or 10 months or something like that until the next game comes out. And 
So I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want them to d just adapt to, or not to adapt. I would, I wouldn't want them not to adapt to the new exosuit playlist because unless, okay, because I think it will be boring to watch the traditional playlist on these maps that are meant for advanced warfare style, exosuit style um, game play. If you understand what I mean, that that kind of sounded kind of weird, but yeah. So I would I wouldn't want to see them I wouldn't want to see them stay on traditional gameplay while playing on maps that are meant for jumping and boosting high and stuff. Other than that, I think it would be it would be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool if if it plays out like good. Traditional mode might might be fun to play. Might be fun to play and watch. If it plays out really good, esports might pick it up, and they might be like, well. The public people could play with the exoskeletons and exosuits, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just play traditional because that's how COD is meant to be played or whatever. They could do that if they want. And I I have nothing against it. I mean, I obviously I said negative and positive. But I'm not going to be over here saying, like, you cannot do that. You cannot. They could obviously do it. I'm just saying that I don't know if it would be good for the, the game and Sledgehammer itself. Because if they see that what they did as a new developer didn't work out like if they see that oh well the esports guys don't want to play this oh the core of the community the casual Go gamers don't want to play this with exosuits then let's not put that in our next game let's just make the traditional cod because they actually like the traditional cod in our game advanced warfare so advanced warfare 2 if that's the name i don't know if that's the name guys but let's say aw2 comes out and it's just traditional playlist and nobody's like everybody's like dude what happened to the exosuits and stuff and people are going to cry because that's gone when it it's just that they're 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 looking at what happened in their previous game and saying well we don't need to put all this all this um extra effort into the exosuits so that i guess that could be a negative right there and um i'm gonna end on that note guys comment down below tell me how you feel about this tri uh, about the traditional playlist and the exosuit playlist and tell me if it, if you think it's a good thing or a bad thing Leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike it if you didn't, go, um, yeah, comment down below like I said, subscribe if you haven't already, click the annotation to the left to see my previous video, and I'll see you next time.